It's Big Vic TV Welcome to my world Welcome to my world Welcome to my world What's up guys? It's the homie Big Vic. We are back in the building with another video and I got my homie Mr. Antoine himself was on the live with me today. Listen. This gentleman right here. Let me let me let me let me reintroduce him really, really quickly. <laughs> so this gentleman right here. This is one of my former clients, one of my former barber clients, right? Yeah. yeah. So I met this gentleman through an associate, another client of mine, and when we start, when we kind of connected, he was in the process of getting ready to get in the box truck business. Mm -hmm. So he had, you had about how many month head start on me? Because I'm I probably I'm, had about I'm nine months. I probably had about six or seven head start on you. Okay, about six seven yeah. month head start mm -hmm. on me. Mm -hmm. So a lot of my clients have been saying. Like this gentleman is really responsible <laughs> for me <laughs> exiting the barber business, you know, because he would, you know, subtly kind of yeah. let me know what yeah. was going on with the business, yeah. and he was doing exclusively Amazon Relay. Yeah, that was it. So, uh -huh. so let me ask you this, Tuan. Yo, uh, in the beginning, uh -huh. uh, what or who inspired you to get your to start looking into getting your own authority? Um, I had a partner, man. Um, his name was Rock Rodney Robinson, and uh, he been pulling eighteen wheelers with Amazon, and he kind of let me know to, uh, you know, try the box truck thing out since I didn't have my CDLs, mm -hmm. and um, you know, it was it was it was a little process, but once the process got taken care of, it was uh, man, it was all downhill from there for me. Mm -hmm. Okay, so. So let me ask you this, because a lot of people, mm -hmm. this is something a lot of people have been doing. Okay. Did you did you start researching it a little more on YouTube? Did you yeah. did you see yeah. some some action happening on YouTube? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh yeah, a lot of a lot of a lot of research on YouTube, a lot of uh just doing my own homework and um just came up with the with the notion that it, you know, it's always it's it's no knock on the working, you know, the working society people that work for somebody it's not a knock on them but you know when you have your own business and owning your own thing mm -hmm. that comes with freedom you work mm -hmm. a little harder but the freedom to do what you need to do and want to do i mean it's you can't put a price on right so okay so what before you bought the box show what company what mm -hmm. company you were working you were working for a company yeah i was working for a company called stereocycle we um we recycled all of the confidential documents from like hospitals, insurance companies, and just stuff like that. And it was a it was a good it was a good gig. I was making about twenty one, twenty two dollars an hour. Okay. But the freedom wasn't there. I was working twelve hours a day. Mm, you okay. know, and if and if you know if you working twelve hours a day for yourself, you making you know you making pretty right. good. Yeah, yeah that's a, you that's know. A, it's a different lifestyle. Pro right. Probably. So this, it, 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 yeah, you got to put twelve hours in for yourself. If you put twelve hours in for yourself, you you know, and you know, like when we met, I told you I'm on Easy Street. If I make two thousand dollars a week, I'm good. Like, I'm, you know, Easy Street. <laughs> yeah, Easy I, don't, street. I don't work too hard, man. I don't work too hard unless unless the situation called for it. Right, you know for sure, for sure. Yeah, yeah. So you know, so so let me let me let me let me tell you guys kind of what what Twan did. So you know. I finished cutting them up, give them the nice, you know, give them the nice, had the I'm beard looking now, right, man. you know, had a beard looking right, you right, know, right. Get, get the shine on the top for them real right, quick, right, right. you know, I said, man, I'm trying, man, what's what, what, what that relay looking like? Trying to be like, hold up one second, let me, let me, let me, let me get his, we go to and get his phone, yeah. pull up the app. Yeah. I said, he says, yeah, so that's, you know, that's what I, that's what I was looking <laughs> like, uh, that's, that's what, that's what Friday hit for. Yeah, I said yeah, what? Yeah, that, that's what you yeah. did Friday. Yeah, He's like yeah. yeah, man. Every Friday the checks drop. I said every, what? Every Friday, man. They dropping like that. He said yeah, yeah man. That he sent me that, and I, I ain't even working that hard. This, I don't work hard. The, the, the line, the line he hit me with y'all was yeah, man. It's like taking candy from a baby. Man, I said man, is the work hard? Is the work hard, Twan? 
talking about, nah, man, every the paddle jack doing all the work. <laughs> I said, really? <laughs> yeah. So, so by this time, I was already kind of in motion. Yeah, I was doing were. my own research. Yeah. And looking for a truck. And before you know it, I had that told Twan like, hey, I'm this be my truck. <laughs> yeah, I'm, about, my... I'm about to go yeah, get the truck. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I'm about yep. to go get the truck. Yeah. So I remember that. So, so let me ask you this question. Mm -hmm. what would you say was your biggest obstacle starting you know getting getting your business started like as far as buying a truck getting authority up well, and running? You know, did, you, did, you, did you do everything yourself pretty much yeah yeah that was that was the, the the hard part like right now you know people got like you and other channels that can kind of help them to guide them mm -hmm. for me it was like it was just trial and fail you know just just trial and fail errors and um, but but you know, to the audience out there, like once you get straight, like once you get on your feet, the money, the money is there, man. The mm -hmm. money is there. So you got a lot more information right now. But for me, like I said, it was just trial and error, trial and error, man. Mm -hmm. And you had your you had your authority now for about how many? You over yeah, year? but yeah, yeah, a little over a year. I got my okay. first audit. I had to do my first audit, um, like two months ago. You know, went mm -hmm. smooth. Okay. And yeah, and then when you you know after your after your first, after your year of your uh you know having your authority your insurance go down too. Mm. So okay. you know that's yeah, that's, that's something that yeah that's, that's a good that, that's big yeah yeah that's <laughs> big because that's that's your biggest expense is your insurance. So after you got the box truck, let's, mm -hmm. this this is everybody's favorite question right here. Okay. After okay. you got the box truck, when did you know it was time to fire your boss? <laughs> man listen it happened one day man i think oh you might have cut me up uh i was i was on a route for my for the company okay. and um and i missed like a thousand dollars now you know in 10 hours i'm making 20 you know 21 22 dollars an hour right that's only 222 dollars right right so i said man i done missed 800 dollars and that's Ooh. when i knew when your when your side hustle make more than your your main job, then you know it's time to leave. That's the key. Y'all heard that? Yeah. That's 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 a key. That's that's what yeah. I call a clue. Yeah, that's a that's clue. That's what you call yeah, a clue. Definitely. Yeah, that's what you call a clue. So when yeah, your definitely. side business mm -hmm. is making more than your full time job, right, and you start seeing yourself missing money, missing mm -hmm. opportunities because mm -hmm. you got that. You know, you got that chain on your leg. You gotta, yeah. gotta complete them hours, or you can lose that to. job. So you, yep, yep. It's, it's, I call that decision time. Yeah, it's decision time. <laughs> it's you know? time to yeah. make a decision. Is this what I want to do? So, so you mean to tell me if I could do this? Mm -hmm. If I could have made eight hundred dollars, mm -hmm. and and even made half of that a yeah. couple of days later, or maybe right? the next day. Yeah, that should be enough. That's enough to continuously sustain yeah. you. Yeah, those are what I call clues, man. It's clues, yeah, because you know so, you you saying to yourself like, okay, if I make two hundred and I just missed a low for eight hundred, that's three four days of me working for right. this company. So right. you know, it was a, it was a no brainer. It was a no brainer. Right. So since running your box truck business, mm -hmm. has your lifestyle changed in it? It has, man. I spend more time with my kids. The you know the the financing the finance is there, like you know. I still teach them a lot about, you know, money and everything like that. Mm -hmm. But, you know, everything ain't so tight because we know that, you know, money isn't everything. But if you don't have it, you, you, and you, you know, you're going to have a little problem or whatever. So it's right up there with oxygen. Yeah. We yeah. all just need a little <laughs> bit to survive. You we just need, need a little, little bit, bit to survive. Yeah. What you need right. to survive. Yeah. Yeah. You need it though. <laughs> you need it. So, you know, um, what, mistakes i made with money is you know when you go from making say 40 or 50 thousand to 100 thousand you know yo 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 you know you want to tell everybody like yo i'm in six figures i make hundred thousand right. a year bro. right just be humble you know because you know you got to remember that not everybody got your same drive or your same hustle and absolutely you know so you just be humble you know what i'm saying and and, and but your lifestyle is gonna change oh most definitely yeah yeah most i went definitely. from sh shopping at food line now i just shop at Publix. you know what i'm Publix. saying <laughs> nah, I'm just, I'm just, <laughs> hey, I'm just playing. I still <laughs> oh man 
So let me ask you this. So you've been and you've been running Amazon Freight. So I know since I've been running Amazon and I went mm -hmm. I went over the road, I tried mm -hmm. to convince you a couple of times, Twan, man, you need might need to try going over the road just a little bit. <laughs> yeah. Twan, like, yeah. nah, I'm you nah, know, I'm, 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 I'm yeah, I'm, I'm I'm cool with you know, as long as I get my couple yeah, thousand. That's that's always been Twan's number. As yeah, long as I get my couple thousand, yeah. I'm cool. Yeah, I'm cool. Yeah, I don't have to go over the road. So no, man. you've been with running Amazon Relay mm -hmm. long enough to have experience mm -hmm. those peak seasons. Yeah, yeah. And 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 yeah, I remember when you told me, uh, and I had I wasn't I wasn't all the way in yet. I was waiting for yeah, my right. authority. To, uh, my authority. I was waiting for it to go active. Right. And I was like, yo, uh, you hit me one time. I was like, man, look, I just caught a load from. CLT nine, which is mm -hmm. Charlotte, yeah, to, to, to Hemingway, yeah. He was like, it was paying over eight hundred. Yeah, bro, listen, yeah. see, listen, it, it only take me a couple of times. Yeah, to hear that, right? To hear stuff like that. Yeah, yeah. You and need to tell them. You need to tell them what it's go what, mode for me. You need to tell them what run I just caught, or or but they had cancel on me. That was nine ninety two. That was nine hundred and ninety two dollars. This I was mean, this was this was recent. Yeah, this was like a week ago. This was recent. So, man. you know, man, it's it's been a blessing, man. And anybody who who want to jump in, man, um, man, get all your ducks in a row, man. And I say jump, man. You know what I'm saying? And then because it's going to branch out to other things. Like, right. He, you know, Big Vic put me on C.H. Robinson. Like, that's a, that's a, when I want to go a little further, like, they paying $2,000 a load. Like, I. To Jacksonville. Oh, okay. No, no. Okay. No. <laughs> I'm putting too much on it. Okay. That's, you get, you give it. Right, I'm giving it too much. Oh, I'm giving it too much right now. I forgot. Okay. okay oh, you okay. give him, give him a little too okay. much. Giving away okay. some of the, some in of the, the secret sauce right there. I got you. The that's in the vault right, right there. Right, that's in the <laughs> vault. Yeah, but, but listen, bro, man, hey, I can't, I can't complain at all, man. It's been a blessing, bro. Man, listen, it's, man. It's been a blessing, um, bro. Uh, so, what would you say was what what what's, what would you say is the difficult part about running your Amazon Relay business? And I think this might apply to most people that run Amazon Relay. What would you say is the difficult part? The business, period. Like, you got to be disciplined to run a business, and especially when the money coming in and it ain't, you know, you pay your taxes at the end of the year. So if you make, if you make $3,000 in a week, you make $3,000 in a week. Mm -hmm. And you have to, to structure your business correctly and your circle that's around you is so important. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Like the, the five people around you is going to determine, you know, how you look at business, your outcome, how you spend money and everything. So, mm -hmm. you know, that would, that would be my biggest thing that I tell the audience is, Okay. You know, you, your business, that's your livelihood. Mm -hmm. So, you know, run it, run it like that, you know? Okay. So have you, have you had, have you experienced mm -hmm. losing early access with Amazon? I have. <laughs> I have. Yeah. 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 I have, man. Many how times. Was, how was, how was, how did that feel? Man, listen, y'all don't want to do that. <laughs> See, I, I, I consider myself maybe a veteran because I got a year of change in, but man, just starting out, you you, you lose your early access, like um, it's not worth it. So if you're chasing the load and you might not be able to make it there, don't don't chance it. Right. Don't chance it because the six hundred, seven hundred dollars you might be chasing, it ain't gonna be worth you losing that early access to where you could have caught another seven hundred or another eight hundred dollar load. You know? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, it's 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 early access that's the, yeah, that's the will result. put some people mm -hmm. out of business if they don't have it. It will, or if they lose it, if they or lose especially it. if you have maybe a rental and you, you you're relying solely on Amazon. Yeah, man. You know what I'm saying? Um, mm -hmm. and you know, I remember. Like there was a time when, even with your business, mm -hmm. you had to run freight outside of Amazon because of yeah. the lack of being able to see 
Low. He was on the board. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Mm-hmm. So it's important to just have that 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 extra broker to on the side over here. Yeah. You yep. know, People just in case. It. Just in case. Just in case yeah. you can't see loads with yeah. Amazon relay. Yeah, you, you know what yeah, I'm saying? Yeah, you're exactly right. You're exactly exactly right. Like, don't get comfortable with Amazon, you know, just keep building. You know, build build relationships, talk to people, you know what I'm saying? Uh try to try to build those relationships because you never know when you might have to reach out and um run something somewhere else. Right. And you know, till you get back on your feet with Amazon. But once you get it back to a hundred, yeah, don't play with it no more. Just keep exactly. it at a hundred. Yeah, just keep it exactly. at a hundred. Mm-hmm. So so a lot of people like to ask this question right here. Mm-hmm. Is it is it is it possible to have a thousand out of days with Amazon. Oh yeah, definitely. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I told you. I told you just now. We was we was on the phone and uh, I told you call me if if it go up and uh, it was nine hundred and ninety two dollars and that's a thousand dollars in my book. You know. Oh man, absolutely. Yeah. yeah, yeah so man. so so man, I was running a load mm-hmm. and then I was I, I was running a load one day. Yeah. Remember, I, I told you guys like. You know, sometimes I'll see loads. I'll call my partners up and let them know, like, hey, something on the load board. You might mm-hmm. want to take a look at it. Mm-hmm. So, so I was one of the guys I called up and said, hey, I'm about to run through this Morris, Morrisville load. There's mm-hmm. another one just popped up. Mm-hmm. Not, matter of fact, it was at 600 it was something. At, it was at 600. Paul said, said, if it go up, he said, I'm about to lay it down. But if it go up, give me a phone call. It's been a blessing, man. And like I said, when you call me, um and and when you run for when you run for Amazon, I would tell your audience, man, once you get it rolling, you're gonna want to run all day, but you gotta you gotta rest. Mm-hmm. And that's what happened with the, <laughs> that's what happened with the with the run, bro. You know, I was like, man, now you got to think, man. I'm laying down how much was it? Like six ninety. So it was six ninety something. Six, right. So I'm seventy is maybe I don't know, somewhere around there. So so I'm telling him. Man, I ain't gonna even get the 670. 670. I'm gonna lay down. I said, but if it go up, call me. He, call he me. called me. I already knew. He said, man, it's at 992. Okay, well, I ain't that it's time. time to go. It's time to go. It's time to go. It's yeah, time to so, go, man. Yeah, so man, it's been a blessing, man. And 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 whoever, you know, get their business started, whether it's part-time or full-time, you know. Hey, so man, bless, you know, it's a blessing. I tell people that yes, you hear a lot of people say, um, mm-hmm. you know, some some people might say Amazon is trash. Some people might mm-hmm. say Amazon got cheap rates. Right, Amazon right. don't pay no money. But mm-hmm. let me tell you something: Amazon is not paying money to people that do not know how to book that freight. Yeah, you got to. So book if freight, you booking you know? freight for peanuts, they're gonna let you. They're gonna let you. They're gonna let no. you run that freight for peanuts. Mm-hmm. You know, so mm-hmm. some some of us more experienced uh carriers with amazon mm-hmm. we understand what to look for we kind of you know kind of know when that board st- is going to start jumping and doing some right. very beautiful things in my mm-hmm. eyes yeah you know definitely. it's just like uh yesterday mm-hmm. i caught a load mm-hmm. uh caught a load for 670 mm-hmm. right i'm on the way to the facility load gets canceled I get the 175 because I know that's a hot load. I know it could possibly reappear back on that load board. So I go yes. right back to the load board. Mm-hmm. The load pops right back up in my same direction. Mm-hmm. 678. Yep. Guess what? Yep. I caught the 175 Five. Yep. and I caught the 678. Yep. You gotta, understand, you gotta understand how to book that freight with you got, Amazon. You gotta, you gotta understand it. You you gotta have days been, like that was another thousand dollar day. Another thousand dollar day. It's been days we've been on the phone, and we'll look at the board and say, "I know they're gonna cancel it, but it's, uh-huh. but it's eight. It, you know, the Amazon eight miles down the road. You right. like, okay, that's one seventy five. Right, eight miles miles. Up. I get up and go. I get, I, I, get, yeah. Yeah, I get I get up yeah, once Craig up the car. Yeah, that's it. I remember uh, I told Twan about a little Twan <laughs> got to his he got to the car. He got he to the threw, truck. He, he, he got to the truck, crunk it yeah. up. $175. $175. Just for turning the key. Just for turning the key, man. Like Listen, 
it's a, it's a blessing, man. Whoever out there thinking about diving, man, you know, the best time to dive in is when it's uncomfortable. Absolutely. Absolutely. Yeah, the best time to dive Gotta in get uncomfortable. when it's uncomfortable. Got to get so, uncomfortable. So, Last question I'm asking. Okay. So, do you think mm-hmm. Jeff Bezos gets upset when we have those thousand dollar days moving his freight? Not at all. <laughs> <laughs> Not at all. He ain't even. He's man, oblivious. Man, listen, to, listen he's man. Oblivious he don't even man. know. He just. Yeah. It's that's not even scratching the scratch. Man, that ain't even, that ain't even scratching with the type the surface, of with the man. with the type of money that amazon has that, that pouring in out, man. Day yeah in, and you day and you gotta think like it's no to me you know some people like bitcoin some people like you know the the, the cryptocurrency but it's no safer investment than freight like Absolutely. this freight got to get this freight got to get moved. has to move you know and and the malls is shutting down and the the you know everything is going to online right that's and right. That's right. In, that's right in our field of moving freight, and that's what we do. So, I mean, it's been a it's been a blessing, a a, a good career choice for me. Mm-hmm. And um, man, I, I, I the best time to, to jump is when it's uncomfortable. So right now, uh, yeah, that's what man. I would say. That the best time is now, man. You 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 that. you've been looking for a second truck too, right? I've been looking for a second truck, man, and um, I got a few things in the. In the making, in the pipeline, man, and, um, in in the the pipeline. pipeline man, and I, I pray, dog. I pray because everything ain't for everybody. That's you know right. What I'm saying, um, but I pray that everything go through, and um, you know that that second truck, because I really want two box trucks, a dump truck, and a semi. There you go. You know that's yeah, called you, that's what we call goals. We yeah, call, you gotta we call that goals. goals. Yeah, you gotta. So he already goals. know what he wants. He knows yeah, exactly gotta, what how he wants his setup. Yeah, you want your setup like that, you know what I'm saying? That's so right. If I if I could tell them anything, man, jump. Yeah. The water, the water's fine. You know, like <laughs> they said, the water's fine. <laughs> man, the water's fine, man. Jump, man. Hey, yeah, well, bro. y'all heard it right here, man. I appreciate Twan. I appreciate you jumping yeah. on this yeah, on man, this no on, on this time, on the stream with me, man. And um, just wanted to let the you no know, let the people let the people hear from different carriers. And that Twan basically mostly does. Amazon. He's about ninety-seven percent Amazon 97, relay yep. freight. Yep. Ninety-seven percent Amazon relay freight. Yeah. So yeah. and I and, and he's like been I rolling say, I, over a year now. Yeah, over a year. Like I and I don't kill myself. I don't work. You know, I have worked six days a week, but mm-hmm. you know, now that I got a good, you know, everything is a system. Once That's you right. get your system how you like it, you good. But eighty right. three hundred dollars a month. Y'all do the math on it. Eighty three dollars, eight eighty eighty three hundred dollars a month. Eighty three hundred dollars a month is a hundred thousand dollars. Pretty much, yeah, yes, that's yeah. It's it's, it's, it's right like there. to me. Yeah, it's, yeah, it's, 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 it's right like there. Me. It's right there. Eighty three hundred dollars a month. So you ain't got to kill yourself. Two thousand no. dollars a week, and you know? you're good. Yeah, that's like see, yeah. see, me and Twan, me and Twan, we kind of different. She's, right? Yeah, yeah. You, yeah, yeah, you <laughs> hey, I be telling them, man, you got to go get you some rest, man. Oh, I'm uh, resting. I sleep. I, I sleep when I die. <laughs> <laughs> I promise. I promise you, I'm getting my rest. Yeah, man, get your rest, bro. You know. Yeah, but yeah. So we are gonna go to end this, man. I appreciate. Okay. Uh, man, no problem. Y'all man. tuning in, man. Twan. Yo. We're gonna see you in the next All one. All right, bro. All, All right. right. Appreciate All right, peace. you. Peace. No problem. All right.